What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another couch video. Most women can't run game on real money men. Yeah, and you know I don't really go in on, on the women, but I will call out some stuff. But this is just, just to give you an overall perspective. First, so let me shout out the Holla Monster. You know who he is. Because I'm part of an email group, private email group, and we be getting talking about stuff all day, all day, just privately, behind the wall. Don't ask how you can become a part of it, okay? If you ask, it ain't happening. Invite only. Anyway, right? <laughs> Yo, and he was, uh, he had mentioned my name in the title of one of his emails, and I was like, yeah, this guy, Ron, this guy following Rom after six years. And he referred to a video I did six years ago, which I'll put in the description box. Uh, why successful black men uh, stay low key. Check it out. Check it out. And, you know, I had several reasons, you know, talking about, you know, people trying to get at the man's money and everything. And somebody else had did uh, something recently along those lines. I'm not going to give that person a shout out. If you know him, you know him. But here's the thing though, right? Let's be real out here. As much as I talk about you can get a woman without money and everything, there's still plenty of guys who think they need money, which means they don't have it. No, let's just be real, they don't have it. And then a bunch of women saying, well, he gotta have half a million, or oh, I date all these guys. It'd be some average looking women, average at best women, talking about they dating these guys with money or they want these guys with money. Look. First of all, if if that's all they're looking for in a man, most of them ain't going to get it. And I'm saying most. Yeah, everybody can always point to that celebrity who got played or was a straight simp or whatever. But I'm saying most. First of all, when I talk about real money, men, I ain't necessarily just talking about celebrities. Because those are usually celebrities. And yeah, they worked hard to respect what they did. But when you're talking about the majority, overwhelming majority, 90% of men who got real money, and I'm saying... Not even six figures anymore. Six figures now is like just middle class. I'm talking about starting. Starting point is like quarter million. Like guys making some money, money out here. Right? Shit. Most, of, most women ain't going to run game on it. Only way a woman, and I said this on my woman's channel. I said only way a woman going to really get that guy, she got to be there before he make that money. She, she got to build with him. And despite what many women think, most men, they stick with the women they built with. That's why you get some men who got a lot of money and they might have that average looking woman. And the reality is, in most cases, in most cases, she was building with them. And he just, he, men appreciate loyalty. She built with them. And that built part is very important. That built part is very important. See, understand something. Understand the mindset of a real money man. First of all, most money men, they weren't like Mr. Goodbar coming up. They weren't that fine dude. So they weren't getting the women like that. They might have got a woman here and there, but they weren't getting the women like that, first of all. And then, really, if you're on the path to success, even your family members, everybody else weren't necessarily supporting. You typically had to work at it. If you look at most money men, most of them had to go to school. Most of them had to work through school, probably take out some student loans, maybe work a couple jobs and everything. They had to work hard, you know, and that's in, you know, the standard profession. Maybe it's an attorney, maybe it's a doctor, uh, accountant, shoot, a corporate executive, whatever the case. Whatever the case, they had to work for it. Okay, so they're doing a lot of that without the support of most women. Like I said, some of them will get a woman who was right there for them and looked at them for the character and everything. The smart, the uh, smarter ones, but most women out here ain't smart with it. See, a big problem out here is they don't want to be with that guy when he's working to get to that point. They want to get, they want to get there when they want him when he's there. They want him at the finish line. That's the point. They want him at the finish line. They don't want to go through the work to get there. And they, they think no matter what, what they got to offer him. First of all, he's going to be smart with it. 
he's going to be smart with it, first of all, because he's going to look at you. He's going to look at the woman, and the woman, he's going to be like, well, shoot, she ain't helped me do this. Where was she? Was she, was she an asset to because even if they she do meet him at the finish line, his question, he he's going to generally look for two things. Now, you do get some. They just want that trophy. But they play a play for real because all they want is sex. All they want is sex. And so they'll get that trophy. But that's all they use it for. There's been many a woman thought they got the guy. And basically, they were just an acceptable hub. Shout out Pimka, an acculturated prostitute. And the guy know that. He ain't getting played. He ain't getting played at all. Now, you know, I always say don't leave with money, but some guys, yeah, you know what, they get to a point, they're like, fuck it. I'm just going to bust my nut in this woman and keep moving. Let her think she getting, give her a little bit of something. Think she doing something. And she really getting played. Because, like, even for those women who get online and talk about, well, yeah, I'm dating all these rich guys, I'm dating all this. How come they never had a man in the picture, in the video with them? Just ask yourself that one question. Just ask them one simple question. Where they at? And what happened? How come you ain't with them no more? <laughs> you know that you don't see that. So that's that's one thing. But, you know, first of all, those guys, they either going to gonna play her or get that get that woman. The only time they might go past that is if that woman, like say the guy at a quarter million, you meet some woman. The head on her shoulder, she got the right head on her shoulders, and she, shoot, she a businesswoman herself or making money herself. She's like, hey, let's let's work together. We can make more. That's the only way. But see, they ain't running game. That's a serious relationship. But you got a lot of women out here trying to run game. And here's the thing. You ain't going to run game on these guys because, one, they remember when they didn't have it, Right? But then they start paying attention. They say, oh, wait a minute. I got this nice car. I'm moving up. This woman know I live in this neighborhood. She see me shopping at this certain store or something because she worked there. Oh, yeah, now they checking now. In fact, I remember uh, when I was uh, went out to San Diego uh, last summer. And I was talking with uh, I was talking with somebody who actually works for a major airline. I was flying first class. My man told me, he said, you know what? The flight attendants are going to know everything about you. <laughs> they going to know everything about you flying first class. I was like, oh, man. But see, here's the thing. A man with money, he know that. He know women checking them out. So one of the things men with money do, they don't always show it. Most men don't show it. You, In fact, that's, that's a constant meme. Like most guys who got money... You know, they're going to dress low-key. I know, personally, I know some now. You ain't going to know it. Like, I know one guy, he making half a million. Because I know I know his wife, I know his uh, son, I know his family. He making half a million, but other than his big-ass truck, because he, well, he's on 15 acres. Um, you ain't, if he, if he walking along, you see him, you wouldn't, you think he just some um, nine-to-five guy somewhere. He don't, he don't show it. And there's a lot of guys like that. They don't show it at best. They might they might get a toy. They might get a nice car, you know, just to have fun in and everything. But even then, they're going to limit where they drive it. Because, indeed, I've known guys like that, making that quarter million and over, making a whole lot of money, got the ends, even if they go on dates. Oh, they showing up in the hoopty. If they got a hoopty and they got the nice car, they gonna show up in the hoopty. See what's up with the, see what's up with the women first. See how the women respond. You know, one guy he had a seventeen room mansion. Seventeen room mansion. He show up to dates in a pickup truck. With painting equipment in the back, <laughs> just to see. Because they understand something. They can't run game because the guy know. It's like, oh wait a minute. All these women, they only showing attention now that I got money. Oh, and then, like I said, a lot of them, because of that shit, they become dogs, players. They ain't leading with it. Or some, or they, if they know the woman only showing it, they say, okay, I'm going to make her suck my dick. I'm going to make her swallow everything and still be like, oh, bye. <laughs> still kick it to the curb. In fact, I said that, I've talked to some women. They say, yeah, they straight up dog by some six figure man. Straight up dog. But that's because you get a lot of women trying to run that game thinking they're going to get the 
money out of them or try to shame them, say, well, you should support me and stuff. And, you know, guys like that will support a woman who is supportive of him. And let me talk on that. Let me let me, let me speak on that because there was a woman online who was talking about that. She was talking about what a woman needed to do, too. She was like, how you going? How, how you going looking for that man to be daddy? Pay for everything, take care of everything, but you can't cook him a meal. You can at least cook him a meal or make sure shit's right when he get home. Maybe give him a massage and all that. See, that's part of the game, too. Some women be trying to run the game, but they ain't talking about what they what they give it. Now, real quick. Real quick. Because I know some... Well, some guys... You know, some guys ain't gonna listen no matter what. They, they just gonna be on some simp shit. But usually they ain't real money, man. Because trust me, when you work hard to get to a certain point, oh, you're going to be very protective of that money. And I know some a few women might call and say, well, he broke anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm broke, honey. I tell you what, here's, here's, here's a link for the townhouse I live in. So I gave you, what, the successful black man link and a link for the townhouse I'm in, okay? Yeah, yeah I, ain't, I ain't balling out of control and shit, but I ain't exactly broke either. So, And I've known this, my... Anybody who really know my background, know. I know like guys who are up there, and they're gonna they're gonna be picky. They're gonna be picky. They looking out. They're gonna test the woman. They're gonna see what's up because the main thing they're gonna test it. They're gonna see if the woman want them or want their money. That's the main thing. Now, like I said, most women you get some slicker women, higher level gold diggers. They they'll spend the money first. I, I give it to them. They got some game. But most women, you get some women, you be like, her? Honey, no, you're not a trophy. Honey, no, you're not bringing him money. What you bringing him? He ain't going to waste his time with you. Because, first of all, if a guy make all that money, he worked hard, did everything, he, he it's going to be extremely, extremely difficult for him to mess with just an average woman. Extreme. Just, just in general. That's on the man's side. You know, and I've, I've I've known them. They, they they shit. Like I can talk about being realistic and all that. They saying fuck it. I ain't make all this money be was no average one. <laughs> I can I can say it all I want. I can tell them, give them a shot. Nah, cause especially if they just want the sex, shit. You better have that body and all of that. And a lot of them, and even I'm gonna tell you what too. Even a lot of these women think they're getting over some men, being flown out and all that. Honey, you just being dog, baby. Uh, baby girl, you just being dog. I'm just being real with you. I'm just being real with you. You being dog. All right? You you got some real game. You find some guy you can really get over with like that. But you being dog. You know this he ain't put no ring on the finger. You know this he ain't take you to uh, any of his fancy uh, restaurants. Or, well, no, not restaurants. He ain't taking it around like uh, the men he work with. All right? In fact, I, I, let me get some game for the women. If they got going out with you, but all y'all doing is having sex, but he ain't taking you to like events or something around the men he has to work around, uh, honey, you, you just being played, okay? That's for the women watching. But for the men, just understand something, especially if you're not there. Now, the men who there, the real money men, they already understand. They, been there. they understand. They not in their head. But for everybody else, you ain't, you ain't running. Most women ain't running game on. They're going to stay low-key with this shit. You know? They ain't even going to show they got money. Because, shit, let's, let's take it to another level. Depending on where you live, what your racial background is, you might not be able to, uh... Shit, you might, you might not be able to be around even in your own neighborhoods and stuff. You know? You got to watch it. Shit, so real money, man, Gee, real, most, yeah, you're going to get some knuckleheads every now and then, but the exception really proves the rule. Most going to be low-key about this shit. And because they low-key and they paying attention to every little thing, they going to be like, nah, nah, I ain't showing I got money. They going to be low-key. You ain't going to know it unless you know them personally. Like I said, no, dude, me, me, he going a half a million dollars and stuff, a whole bunch of land, but if you see him around, you wouldn't think he got shit. Till he get out of, get into his truck. That's the only place him and his wife spend money on is like uh, their vehicles. Even then, it's more, uh, 
some four wheel vehicles and shit. And shit, especially in this area and stuff, you got a lot of trucks anyway. Man, we got we got a lot of guys that do big old trucks. But anyway though, not most women, they ain't gonna run game on a real money man. Real money man, work too hard, got some street smarts to see, oh wait a minute. These people only responding to me because I got some money. Yeah, fuck that. Alright? So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.